Hey, what's up, my wild mustaches, and welcome back to another wild go making video. Today is actually going to be a little bit different. Something I think is going to help a lot of new players and a lot of old players too, as well. So let's get right into it. Hold up. All right, mustaches. So basically, as in the title, we're going to be going over week and day things that you should be doing, guys. Now, this is stuff for people who are new and people who are old. Some things that you should be doing. Now, that's it, guys. We're going to be doing um, basically into two set categories, week and day. Now, also, too, as well, we're going to be doing two tokens this week. Maybe if this video can actually get to 2K uh, views and 50 likes and, you know, just like, share, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. All, to all my subscribers, you are amazing people. Also, too, as well... Um, I, I want to define what week is, okay? Week is actually basically you get you one tune, you get one try with one tune per week, okay? So you can do this on ults. So basically, if you have a lot of ults, this actually be more profitable for you. If not, if you don't have the time to do it on the ults, then it might not be, be as profitable as other people. Now, that's it too as well. We're not going to be covering cat because everybody know knows what catalyst raids are, and it's not it doesn't need to be repeated. Now, let's get right into it. So first off, I want you to do is go run all the panda raids now. This is something that a lot of people are already doing, but a lot of people are not doing because they think that you can't do Throne of Thunder, Heroic 25, or Heart of Fear 25, so forth. You can do it. My lock can do it when he was 880. Actually, 885. Sorry, guys. And also, right now, since I'm 909, I can, I can do it straight up easy. This stuff is easy, guys. Like, don't let anybody intimidate you. I've seen other YouTubers, other people saying, oh, you can't do Her Heroic 25 Panda. No, that's not true, guys. Now, the thing is about Heroic 25, it's a little bit harder, obviously. There's some mechanics that you got to follow and so forth. And it's not no stopping mechanics. Like, when I say stopping mechanics, it doesn't stop you in your tracks and say, oh, I can't do this no more because I don't have two more uh, two more people. Now, that's only a, a siege, okay? Siege is the only one where you get to a certain point, and you can't do it no more because you have to have another person. Other than that, all the other raids you can do, and even up to a certain point of siege, you can do it alone. Now, the thing it is about Throne of Thunder is that you can get up to 4K gold on just raw gold. Now, that's pretty amazing. Other than the pets, um, the pets you can actually get anywhere from 5K to 20K. They went down in prices because a lot of people were doing this. I mean... Literally, you can actually do this on looking for raid if you actually go talk to the right guy. Now, the thing is about this, you're not going to want to do it like that. You're going to want to do either normal 25 if you don't feel like you can do heroic 25. Do not do the 10s because you will not get as much gear as you would do 25. Now, that's it, guys. Let's get on to the next thing. And that next thing is actually do your profession cooldowns. Now, the profession cooldowns are something that I think that everybody should be doing. Now, I'm an alchemist, and I like to do meat to pet, okay? Now, they don't go as much as they were when they first started, but they're still a little bit anywhere from 5K to 7K, depending on the pet. Even lower than that if it's, if it's a crappy pet. Now... If you have a um, profession that has a weekly cooldown, make sure you do this because this stuff, like I said, it takes a week to get done or if it takes only, you can only do it once a week. Now, do this and you're actually going to get some profit at it because uh, believe it or not, this is passive gold. I mean, you're already going to be getting these materials from doing the daily stuff. So that's it, guys. That's basically what you want to do for weekly. I don't any, know anything else that you want to do for weekly unless it's like world boss and so forth. And we're not going to go over that because that's just stuff that's random and that's RNG based compared to these. Now, that said, guys, let's get into the day and I'll see you right there because I don't want to mess up this little segment. So I'll see you right there. All right, mustaches, we are in a day segment. So let's get right into this because it's not a really long, long one, but I don't want to make it too long for y'all. All right, so first off, you're going to want to farm raids and dungeons, normal dungeons. And the reason why I say no more dungeons is you can run through it and actually just kill all the bosses along the way and get out and reset it remember you got 10 resets per hour so just make it worth it guys now i will say too as well raid farming is a really cool thing that i really like now compared to dungeon farming and that is basically pulling all the mobs up to the first boss don't kill the first boss take it back basically go back and reset so forth now i've got a lot of good good items off of just raid farming and i suggest y'all try it if y'all can now a lot of this stuff sells for transmog and they actually sell just just sell like depending on actually what so uh, what um, raid you're actually doing now that said let's actually get into the next one and that is actually farming spots for you know boe's materials and so forth and everything find that right spot this is more of a, like just a suggestion find that right spot that feels good to you that you're going for like for instance if you're finding if you're going for a boe okay if you're going for a boe find a spot that instant respawn might not give you as much as everything else but your whole goal there is to get those spawns fast and the reason why i say that is because a lot of people don't understand is when you go up for a boe hunt you're not going for a boe hunt just to get other items okay that's not the point 
you want a spot that actually instant responds and gives you loot. Like, for instance, the one I'm doing right now, and that's actually a really good one. And the reason why I say that is because they instant respawn like that. Like, literally, they do. I mean, the video shows it. But anyways, the point is, it's not It's not about the silk. It's not about any other items. Yes, they're all pluses if you get it, but it's about the BOE. If you can at least get one BOE an hour, you just made a lot of gold out of it. Because twink items right now are just amazing. They're going for a lot. And if they warforged, oh, you're just, you're just in the gold. But that's it, guys. Let's get into the last of the Mohicans. Uh, do apologize if that offends anybody. <laughs> My bad, guys. But it was the point is is that um, <clears throat> basically you're gonna want to actually farm in profession spots. Now these actually are the spots based on your professions. Okay, if you're if you're herbalism, if you have herbalism, go to a herb spot that you know of. That's really good. Now. There's a lot of videos I showed, uh, just a couple of videos of first Starlet Rose, so forth, that I've showed you on my channel that is really good. Now, if you're mining like me, I like to farm all the, um, basically the alligators. They're really good because they just give a lot. They don't give a lot, lot as much as the nodes would, but they're always around. And you can always use realm hoppers, so forth, and everything, to get to these spots and actually get these, um, but uh, basically in those materials now that's it guys let me know in the comments below what you think about this video something new to me because to be honest with you this is more advice than actually you know make this gold much gold an hour if you like seeing this kind of videos i do have a lot of stuff planned like for pets and so forth and everything let me know in the comments below if you would like to see that and as always guys the code word is gonna be swift swift is the code word but anyways as always guys if you like this video please like subscribe and comment and stay stashy